Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and I like to read and today I'm going to be doing my December new book releases video. So first off, I know I have not been making videos a lot lately and that's because a lot has been happening in my life this month. Um, also, this is not a usual place that I film. I'm currently at my parents' place. So I'm filming here for this video. Uh, I should be back to my regular background coming next week. But yeah, just for the time being, this is where I am and I wanted to get some content out to you guys. So I thought, why not go over the new books coming out in December? It's also a great way to get ready for the Reindeer Readathon, which I still need to make my TBR for and I have not done yet. So that's something else that will be coming soon. And I'm kind of nervous because I have a lot of books to prepare for that. And yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have fun with it and have a good time choosing books and matching prompts. I also have not rolled my die yet for that and I'm really scared that I'm gonna get a six, but we'll see. <laughs> it's, it's something I'll probably do this weekend. So yeah, that is coming. But anyways, I wanted to dive into some books that are coming out in December and there's one in particular that I am very excited about. So let's just jump right into it. The first one is Heartstopper Volume 5. I cannot wait for this book. Like I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I, you guys know if you've watched any of my videos how much I love this series and how how truly like just awesome it is. It's so warm and cuddly and just it's just a good time. It really like melts your heart and <laughs> heart stopper. And it's just a great series. And so I'm really excited to read the fifth installment in it. I thought the adaptation was done exceptionally well on Netflix, and I cannot wait to see what they do with season three. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one, and I'll probably rush out to pick it up unless anybody in my uh, close proximity, like family or partner, wants to get that for me for Christmas. Wink, wink. Uh, then that works too. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. Then next up we have this book called The Vacation House, and so this is following a family who spends time in this vacation house in Greece, and it's following the story of, I believe it's the teenage daughter who one night decides to go out for an evening stroll on the beach, and it says that she will never be the same after that night. And then it fast forwards to 10 years later where she has a husband, he's a very influential man, and she is kind of like the one that like does everything in the background. She writes his speeches for him. She like plays the great like housewife and stuff like that. But then she meets a therapist and they become really close friends. And so in doing that, of course, she's like talking to the therapist often. And so the two of them kind of like start a deep dive into her past and things that have happened. And so you know that something happened on the beach that night that she went for a walk but you don't know what it is and so this book is gonna like reveal that slowly to you and it says that it's a mysterious suspenseful thriller so like that's something I really enjoy I also like thrillers in vacation settings like I like thrillers that aren't set in your day-to-day -day normal living space like those are okay too but I don't know what it is just about vacation settings that just it it gets more exciting for me and I really don't have any reason why, I just like those. So yeah, I don't know. I think this one might be interesting because it in part takes place on a vacation. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see, but it does sound interesting. Ooh, and on the same track of thrillers, we have this one called What Waits in the Woods. So this is following a character named Esme who has gone off from her small town to live out her career as a professional ballerina. But then 11 years later, due to an injury, she can no longer perform as a ballerina, so she comes back to her hometown to help her brother take care of their ailing father. Now, when she comes back to town, a gruesome murder has happened, and it is somebody that she knew in high school that I believe was very similar build to her, similar like look, uh, I think they were on like the cheerleading team together. And so this girl has been brutally murdered. And this scares Esme because when her mother died in a car accident, there was a man there that told her that he was gonna kill her too. So that like insinuates something happened with the mother. And then 
disappeared. And all of the emergency care workers decided that that was a figment of her imagination because she was concussed. And so that's what they told her, but she has never really thought that that was true. She always thought this actually happened. And so it's been in the back of her mind all this time. And so now she's kind of scared because this other girl looked very similar to her. And so she's worried that this guy is coming after her again because she's back at her hometown. So from there, we're gonna find out what happens. We're gonna explore the things that happened in the past. And yeah, I don't know. It sounds very haunting and very creepy. And I would be down to find out what happens with this story. So yeah, that's another one that sounds interesting to me. Then we have this one that kind of piqued my interest. And so this is an author that apparently is like a TikTok sensation. And they have created a new romance fantasy series. So I'm going to give you the synopsis because these are the ones I'm not great at summing up. So this is what it says. Twins Kala and Briar have spent their entire lives hiding from the powerful sorceress who destroyed their kingdom and from the humans who don't know they are wolves. Each twin has their own purpose in life. Briar's is to marry the prince of an ally pack and save the golden court. Kala's purpose is to remain a secret, her twin's shadow, the backup plan. No one knows who Kala truly is except for her childhood friend and sister's betrothed, the distractingly handsome Prince Grey. But when Kala and Briar journey out of hiding for Briar's wedding, all of their well-made plans go awry. The evil sorceress is back with another sleeping curse for the last heir to the Golden Court. Kala must step out of the shadows to save their sister, their kingdom, and their own legacy. Continuing to hide as a human and denying who she truly is, Kala embarks on a quest across the realm, discovering a whole world she never knew existed. Outside the confines of rigid wolf society, Kala begins to wonder, who could she be if she dared to try? So yeah, that sounds really cool. I'm down for anything like werewolf, wolf related. Um, I've always been a big fan of Team Jacob, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny actually. Side note from that, but like I was having a discussion with um, the local used bookstore um, person that works there and we were talking about the Twilight series and how we liked it for what it was, but we would never go back and reread it because we don't want to like ruin that nostalgia for ourselves. We just know that it's going to not be good anymore. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's just a little side note, but they were also Team Jacob. I know a lot of you guys are probably not Team Jacob, and that's fine. Everybody can have their own team. Anyways, so yeah, that one sounds pretty good, and it sounds like a good start to like a, a trilogy, so I'm definitely intrigued by that one. Okay, this one, I'm not really even going to give a full synopsis. I'm just going to give like a byline for it, but I was captured because of the title of this one, which is called Raiders of the Lost Heart. I thought this was so clever and fun and a play on words with like the Indiana Jones series because I love those movies. But this one says, rival archaeologists must team up on a secret Aztec expedition or it could leave their careers and hearts in ruins. So I don't know, I just thought this was so clever and like that's a great way to market this book. That pulls me in right away. I think that like it has to do with archaeology. I'm sure there's going to be like some booby traps in there when they're exploring these like temples or wherever they're going. But yeah, throw in some romance with that and that sounds like a great time. So that's something I'll keep my eye out for. Okay, and then lastly, I have this thriller that's called That's Not My Name. And so apparently this is a debut thriller. And I think I'm going to read the synopsis for this one to you because it's kind of hard to summarize because even I'm not sure what's happening here and that intrigues me that I'm not sure. So it says, she thought she had her life back. She was wrong. It was a mistake to trust him. Shivering and bruised, a teen wakes up on the side of a dirt road with no memory of how she got there or who she is. A passing officer takes her to the police station and not long after, a frantic man arrives. He's been searching for her for hours. He has her school ID, her birth certificate, and even family photos. He is her father. Her name is Mary, or so he says. When Lola slammed the car door and stormed off into the night, Drew thought they just needed some time to cool off. Except Lola disappeared and the sheriff, his friends, and the whole town are convinced Drew murdered his girlfriend. Forget proving his innocence, he needs to find her before it's too late. The longer Lola is missing, the fewer leads there are to follow and the more danger they are both in. So yeah, I really don't know like what's going on here. It seems like there's two storylines that are gonna interconnect somehow 
and you as the reader don't know anything because the main character also doesn't know anything. So yeah, I don't know. I've read books like that before and I find them very intriguing because you're like working with the main character to piece everything together too. And so it's just like a giant puzzle and I love that. I love solving like puzzles. So yeah, I think this one will be a lot of fun. Anyways, those are all the books that I noted for December that are coming out. Surprisingly, like no Christmas books really like piqued my interest or are ones that I'm like aware of. I'm sure if I became aware of more Christmas books coming out, then maybe I would be gravitating towards those a little bit more. But these are the ones that just kind of like I saw and I got excited about. I also haven't had much time to do like a lot, a lot of research on new books coming out just because of November being very busy and me having to do some like unexpected traveling and stuff like that. So yeah. But anyways, those are the ones that I have found so far and the ones that I'm looking forward to coming out, especially Heartstopper. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any new books coming out in December that you are very excited about because I'm sure I didn't get all of them, so I'm always excited to see what you guys are looking forward to as well. If you guys want to support me, I have a Patreon and a coffee page, which I'll put in the description down below, as well as a link to buy my bookmarks. You guys know the drill, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell notification button so you get notified when I post new videos. I post my videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And until next time, keep on reading.